Hey guys, in this section, we'll work with getting accustomed to the workflow monitor screen. We'll learn to check workflow logs, session logs, and run properties. We'll now see the results in the Informatica Power Center monitor screen. Make sure that your repository is connected, and make sure your integration service is also connected. If they're not, right click and connect. Let's see how the workflow is executed. We'll start the workflow as soon as you start. The output panel indicates that workflow is triggered, and you'll be able to see the status of the execution in the Informatica Power Center workflow monitor. As you can see, session task and workflow which we created are successfully complete. Awesome! As you may have noticed, when you run a workflow, workflow monitor continuously receives information from integration service. The integration service is responsible for flow of data from source to target through Informatica, which we learned in administration videos. The monitor screen shows the status of workflow and task being executed. As you can see, task and workflow are successfully complete. Workflow monitor, as mentioned earlier, displays the status. It has two views to show it. First, a Gantt view, then a task view. You can view how you wish to see. Here's a Gantt view. When you click task view, it shows a similar output, but in a different form for workflow being executed. Informatica Power Center Workflow Manager also has sections. The screen is divided into the following sections. This section of the screen, which I'm highlighting now, is referred to as the Navigator. It displays various repositories, integration service, folders, workflows, and the tasks which have been executed. This section at the bottom here is called Output Section. This displays information and details which are received from integration service and repository. This section is referred to as Time. This section displays timing of execution of various workflows. We can also see how you could see execution or the status of previous workflows. Apart from checking the status of currently executing workflow, you can also check statuses of existing workflows in the Gantt view. In Navigator, select the workflow for which you want to see previous runs. Right click and click on Open Latest 20 Runs. Because the workflow is being executed only once, you could see this option is currently disabled. However, you could see the output of the latest 20 runs. If you want to restart a workflow, you could directly click on Restart from the monitor screen. You could also right-click on Individual Session and Restart Task to restart workflow. You could also right-click and Stop or Abort. Similarly, you can right-click on Session and Stop or Abort an individual task. In this video, we learned to check the workflow monitor and saw different views in it. 